Hey people, welcome back to Shadow Guard, and we need to judge the spirit of Yakir the Black. Greetings. Genthos the Inventor. Con greetings and congratulations, Fadia. Today we become full citizens. It's really exciting, don't you think? I know a little about the Shazgir fellow if you're interested. Okay. Some have called him the Black Butcher, but others call him much worse. He was a small-time sorcerer until two years ago. One afternoon he started hurling fireballs and summoning demons in the city streets. In a short but bloody rampage, he killed over 120 people. Most were women and children. After the guards sealed his power, he was tried and summarily executed for his crimes. A truly awful sword. I'm glad to see he's still being held under Raka's power. And if you ask me, that's where he should stay. Raka should make him pay for his crimes more thoroughly than hell ever could. That seems a little harsh. This is Alia. Murder's a pretty harsh thing, Alia. Especially a hundred murders. I have no pity for those who kill for sport. But enough talk of dark deeds. It makes my skin crawl. Is there anything else you'd like to know, Fat? Well, what judgment would you give him? You know how I feel about this fact. No, I don't! Akira's a rebel and a criminal of the most despicable sort. He should be caged and confined, with every right and freedom stripped from him forever. I say we leave him in Raka's keeping. Okay. Let's talk to Adia. Hello there. Alia, sorry. What can I do for you? What do you know of Yakir? I don't know. I was staying with my family in the forest at the time, and we don't pay much attention to what happens in the city, with the exception of the academy, of course. I don't know what to tell you. You don't remember the Black Butcher? This is Janthos. The heralds were calling out the news throughout half the Empire two years ago. Foolish druids. If a bird falls sick in the forest, you know all about it. But if a hundred city folk are killed, you never hear a thing. Two years. His spirit has been trapped here for that long. It's not natural. He should have been sent to the afterlife. It's up to the spirit cycle to cleanse sins from the dead, no matter what their crime. Please, Fadia, the spirit of the living thing should be allowed to pass on when it dies. The spirit circle... The spirit cycle spirit... What? Is a natural thing, as plain as breathing. We have no right to interfere, not even as citizens of the Empire. What do you mean by spirit cycle? Janthos inserting blah blah blah. Akira is a heinous criminal, an abomination of your precious nature, not part of it. If Rakir holds him in this plane, it's for a good reason. She asked about the spirit cycle, Janthos, so kindly keep your comments to yourself. You see, Fadi, we pass through the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. It's a natural process and helps maintain the balance of the world. So, you're telling us we're reincarnated? People are born. In life, they make their choices, sowing the seeds of imbalance. You're talking about reincarnation and karma. The seeds of imbalance in the world. In death, the balance is restored through blessings and punishments of heaven and hell so they can be reborn pure and new into the world. The job I'm here, away from heaven or hell, is to preserve the imbalance. If he's evil, as Janthos claims, then you would have made the world more evil by keeping him here, don't you see? Hogwash. He made his bed, he should lie in it, Alia. If he really is going to be reborn like he claimed, he'll just make the same choices all over again. How many other people will lose their families over it? Let you had it. Let it happen, Folly. I beg you. Struck a nerve. He glares at me. You know I lost my parents to brigands. I didn't mean to lash out like that, but you must learn to be more sensitive to other people's feelings, mine included. Wow. Okay. But I do ask you let Raka hold Rick Yakir, where he can do no more damage. For the family, still more than the loss of nothing else. Let's agree to disagree then. Alia, oh god. We've both come to our decisions honestly, and, with, and you with more loss than I. What judgment would you give him? So clear, but on the other hand, it's so complicated. I mean, Emperor Rakam has my trust and respect, and I know he only does what is right, but then why would he even allow us a choice? To learn. It doesn't matter what he decides. It's for us to do it, so we learn how to be citizens. If I'm a judge by my conscious, conscience, then I think a spirit should be set free and allowed to travel to heaven or hell in accordance with the natural spirit cycle. Okay. Can we talk to Yakir? Spirit hisses at you, bearing its ghostly white teeth. It has white teeth. It's got water teeth than I do. It's been dead for two years. You dare to judge me, pawn of Raka. Might as well have the rabbit judge the snare. Tell me of your crimes. My crimes? Is that what they call them? The Empire fills your head with rubbish and calls you wise. It is the Empire that came here to tame the North and crush us under its heel. If you find a stone you cannot crush, do you name it criminal too? What of those you killed? What of those the Empire killed? For every ounce of blood on my hands, there are ten on yours. There are mindless fools who did not see the truth. They lived and died in Rakah's name. The death I offered was too good for them. What about the women and children? 
Would you swat a fly yet leave its maggots there to fester? Your precious empire has done the same to us. It's the nature of war, and I have little need to question it. Okay, why do you hate the empire? We were proud people once and strong. One does not ask to be conquered, to be assimilated. One simply resists. One fights. The Imperials are far from home, yet we send you there, your tail between your legs. Tell me about resistance. It's an older battle than you imagine, Imperial. Ask your precious Raka how old it is. The one who leads us will crush the Raka beneath his heel as much as the Empire first crushed us. Still counting now, for your days are numbered, child. Okay, uh, there's a question I, that came up. Okay, do you truly expect to succeed? We know your strength, Imperial, but did your precious academy teach you anything of your weaknesses? You swaggered like a child with a wooden sword tucked within your belt. Okay, what judgment do you want? The choice between the hell and empire, and I choose hell. I only pity you do not offer yourself the same choice. Now be gone and make your preci precious judgment. Let the deed be done. Okay, so Yakir is part of the uh, indigenous people that we came in and conquered. And he killed all these people because he hated the empire. So he killed because we killed, if I understand it. Okay, it's time I judged you. Hello. Okay, what do you know of Yakir? It's a rite of passage. What I know, I cannot tell you. The judgment is in your hands and those of your classmates. Please, feel free to... Yeah, well, okay. Okay, so I gotta go here to judge. Alright. Resting upon the stone surface of this altar lies a glowing orb that you recognize as an orb of judgment. These magical devices are used by the Imperial Courts to punish criminals according to the precepts of Rakaz Law. The Orb of Judgment shines with a brilliant glow, beckoning you to lay your hands upon its smooth surface. Begin the judgment. At your touch, the Orb of Judgment glows even brighter. You feel its soothing warmth overcome you, and your gaze is drawn to the wispy form of a nearby wraith. A soft voice speaks in your mind. Before you stands the spirit of Yakir the Black, a foul murderer whose bloody spree claimed the lives of countless subjects. Sorry for the ounce of the Empire. Women and children included. It lies in your hands, citizen, to determine a spirit's fate. Almighty Raka currently holds a spirit here, safe from the punishments of hell, which even the wicked do not deserve. But the Emperor will bend his hand to your will, either holding a key here for eternity or sending him to hell should you request it. Okay, so... This keeps him here as a spirit. This sounds like he uh, goes to hell. But this also sounds like he goes to hell. But this sounds more like uh, send him to hell and burn him too. And this one's like, I just let him go. I think we'll pick this one. He's not Rakaz to hold. Grant him hell. Yakir utters a low cackle. You've done me a great service, Mortal. My people are in your debt for it. Ethereal shackles holding the spirit in place dissolve, and Yakir is quickly pulled into the depths of the underworld where he rightfully belongs. The light of the Orb of Judgment is dim. With the sensing of Yakir's spirit now complete, it appears its purpose is fulfilled. Okay. Hello. I see you've sentenced Yakir to his fate. You have served Rakir Rakaz's will with your actions. Are you ready to continue the ceremony? Yeah. Or is that like my dad's gonna show up? The judgment is complete. Yay! The cure spirit has been banished and shall find severing in the hells until its penance has been served. Lady Afadi, you faint. Though I do not appreciate your outburst, I shall let it be known that you have fulfilled your obligation to the Emperor. What outburst? What did I do? I don't remember. Did I outburst? I don't remember an outburst. Lady Thaint has spoken on behalf of the class. All the class shall taste of Rakaz's gratitude. Each of you shall has acted in service of the Empire. The Emperor gives us three crests by which we can serve him all better. They're the crest of the Guardian, the Enforcer, and the Redeemer. Which do you choose, Alia? I choose the crest of the Redeemer. I can use his healing powers to ease the pain of the Forest and his creatures. Okay, what power does the Redeemer hold? The crest is powers of healing. You can use it to regenerate health over time or heal moderate wounds instantly. 
It can be used only once a day, but its power is everlasting, as are the powers of all the crests. I come across wounded creatures in the forest many times, and too often there's little I can do. With the Redeemer's Crest, perhaps I can be of greater help. Thank you, Jarvis. A good choice, Alia. May both your crest and your citizenship serve you well. Now, Janthos, which crest will you choose? <sighs> I think I want the Guardian Crest, but, well, the power of the Enforcer Crest is so tempting. I could fortify the offensive strength of my golems with it. Okay, what does the Guardian Crest do? The Guardian Crest will raise a magic shield over whoever I choose. It's a great defensive tool that can deflect the blows of those who seek to cause harm. I've always been a little on the frail side, so maybe I should take this one. Jethos is correct, but the Crest has an additional power. It can also raise a separate shield to defend against those who wield magic. With both powers active, it's a defensive tool against a wide spectrum of foes. Maybe I should have chosen that one, Alia. Hindsight's twenty twenty, bitch! It's so hard to decide, but I'll stay with the Redeemer. Okay, what about the Enforcer? Force is a wonderful offensive tool. With it, you can enchant a weapon with a wreath of magical flame. Can you imagine how much might that would improve my golems? So it's truly terrifying, Janthos. Please, Jarvis, make him take the Guardian. Oh, Janthos, don't you see your safety is so much more important than the power of those soulless toys you seem obsessed with? Well, the crest of for considerable power, and that's why they're only given to those who have achieved full citizenship. Only those who truly serve the Emperor can be trusted with such tools. Wait, wait, turn! Please, Janthos, take the Guardian Crest. Your golems don't need any more power. You, however, do need some amount of protection. Kushu, Alia. I'll take the Guardian Crest if you're so concerned, but I don't think you can keep me from finding ways to make the creations more powerful. The best way to protect the city is to make those who guard it as strong as possible. An excellent choice, Janthos. I, too, believe the Guardian Crest would serve you best, though your point about the city's protection is well taken. Now, Fadi, it is your turn to decide. Which power will you wield as a citizen of the Empire? Damn cleric and me. And we can get potions. Take the guardian. The guardian crest at your side. You can protect the empire from his enemies. Are you comfortable with this choice? Yeah. Da, da, da. Very well. Let us begin the closing ceremony. I'm sure you're all eager to explore your new powers and the new role you shall play as citizens of this fine empire. The rite of passage now draws to a close. Though you've all grown up as subjects of the Empire, only now you have become its official citizens. Hooray! My congratulations to all of you. Well, I suppose I should return to work on my golems. Yep, those were her parents. Can I? Um, goddamn cutscenes. They're really proud of her. I'm sure your father will be very proud once he receives word of your citizenship, Fadia. It's quite the achievement, after all. So proud he couldn't be bothered to show up? Now, Fadia, running a city such as Garak is stressful and time-consuming work. You can't always expect your father to drop everything just for you. It's my fucking graduation! I'm sure there must have been some sort of pressing business that interfered with his attendance, Fadia. It meant so much to him. He would not have missed this even event over a trivial matter. You say so. I see there's little I can do to change your mind, so let's drop the matter for now. I have other news which may lift your spirits. One of the Empire's elite organizations seems to have taken an interest in you. It's an honor to give very few of your young age. Who? The Shadow Guard, a force of Rakaz Direct Service. Very little is known about them. I will not bias you with the few rumors I've heard. Suffice to say, their service to the Empire has been a shining light in dark times. Special Forces! Though I have really been impressed by your wild and unruly... What? What did I do? I did nothing! Janthos got the chickens, not me. Actually, Alia got the chickens. Jantho just created the mechanical mice. Uh, however, it seems your position as daughter of Magistrate Akaris Thaint has drawn a great deal of attention to you. Your actions reflect the training of the Academy. As such, I would like for you to make a good impression on the Shadow Guard. A man named Mercurius Albright is waiting for you in the market. He told me to guide you to his way. Should you succeed and gain acceptance into the Shadow Guard, your power and renown will be equaled by only by your father's. If 
there's ever a time you wish to explore the Empire outside Garak, this is your opportunity. Farewell, Fadia. And take this tome as a parting gift for me. It's the Chronicles of Our World, a Barian, and you would do well to study it. Let it be your guide in all the times for the lessons of the past are lessons for our future. Our God's blessing upon you. Check you later, homie. Okay. Are these levels? I'm guessing. Cast at level 11, cast at level 5. Just organizationable. Okie Finoki. Off we go. The Imperial District of Garak. Giles comes rushing toward you as you enter the Imperial District. His elderly face red and his breath breathing heavy from the exertion. I'm glad I was able to catch you, Madame Fadia. I bring news from your father. Okay, what? Magistrate Akaris has found him in council with visitors from the Empire from Emperor Raka, and apparently a matter of great urgency has arisen. He wished to send his deepest apologies for missing your graduation ceremony. Okay, I understand that. If the Emperor sent people. Magistrate Akaris says to assure you that he shall make it up for you later this day. It suggests perhaps you'll spend a little bit of time in the Mark District until he sends for you. I do apologize from the Barrowville News, milady. I bid you good afternoon and pray that Raka keep you in his blessings. Check this shit out. Chant those. All right. Journal. The Shadow Guard. We need to find Marquis Albright. I'm a citizen of the Empire. Probably kind of short, but I think that's good for um, now. A nice little break. So let's save and uh, we'll continue tomorrow and we'll explore this and do all sorts of other things. Leave a like if you liked or don't if you didn't. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.